want to start a new chapter in my life. I need to structure my thoughts and write some plans and goals and ways that I can achieve my goals. Before I started, I decided to learn about planning a bit more than I knew before and realized that I have been doing it wrong. Because of that wrong planning, I was disappointed and felt demotivated when I couldn't achieve my goals. Actually, it was for a combination of different reasons, but planning was one of the main ones. So today I'm going to deal with my planning and you can join me. So I don't want to be disappointed and don't want to lose energy. And if you don't want either, then I suggest the next thing. Let's set only achievable goals. Goals that depend only on me in my case or on you in your case. And by this I mean that no one else is responsible for those goals but you. Example, we all creative people here and as a creative people we want to make money with our art. Let's say I want to sell 10 my art prints and grow my YouTube channel to 500 subscribers. These are goals I can't influence. I can't personally come to 500 people and tell them to open YouTube <laughs> and make sure that they will hit those subscribe button. I also can't come to 10 people and take money out of their wallets and to give them my artworks instead of this. And that's ridiculous and <laughs> crazy examples. But the imagining of these situations have given me the opportunity to remember that these are not right goals. So let's change those same goals into the right ones. I want 500 subscribers on my channel. Okay, but what I can do to try to achieve that? I can show up on social media, in my case YouTube. I can create and post two videos a month and post them. I don't know how the YouTube algorithm will work. I don't know if people will subscribe on my channel or not, but uh, the process of creating and posting videos is completely up to me. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm setting up my goals. I'll do what I can and it will be good if it will give me those desirable results, but if not, it will be totally fine because my goal wasn't in getting those like numbers subscribed to my channel. My goal was to create a certain amount of videos and to post them. I also think that you have to choose what's the most important so you don't have a million things planned and you don't overwhelm yourself. In the past, when I have uh, troubles with planning, I used to write those giant lists of my goals and things I want to do and to try. I couldn't cope with the amount and plus not everything was dependent on me and life disrupted my plans, which happens to most people in most of our lives. And I ended up getting burned out, giving up on everything and thinking that I'm an inefficient and incapable person. And that's very discouraging. But if you don't know what's most important for you, I can suggest you to write those lists just to clear up your head and mind and then start to break it down into categories like work, hobby and family. And also within these categories to distribute the goals on the degree of importance. Also, I would like to have some criteria that would help me set the right goals and assess how achievable these goals are and I found a system called SMART. SMART is a popular method for setting up goals and every letter means these goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound. Here's how this system can work for artists. Specific. The goal should be clearly defined and easy to understand. Example, I want to improve my figure drawing skills. This is specific because I've written that I want to improve my figure drawing skills, not my drawing skills in general. Measurable. The goal should be quantifiable so that you can track your progress. For example, I want to draw at least one figure study per day. Achievable. The goal should be realistic and achievable within the given time frame. Example, I want to create a portfolio of 10 finished digital illustrations in the next 6 months. Relevant. The goal should align with your overall artistic vision and purpose. Example, I want to specialize in character design for video games. And time bound. The goal should have a deadline to keep you motivated and to keep you on track. Example, I want to have a solo art show or exhibition within the next two years. 
setting up artistic YouTube or any kind of life goals using this smart system, I think that we can focus our efforts and make steady progress towards the desired outcome from this goal. I've tried setting up my goals using this knowledge. I used Notion for it and I want to share with you what I've got. This is my main dashboard, the Notion for planning goals and I named it I want it in 2023. I'm going to share all those templates and also various beautiful headers for these Notion templates that I've prepared. I've written here what's the most important for me in this year and I want to avoid burning out, disappointment and excess stress because of goals and I want to do more work and personal stuff instead of home and family stuff. Uh, I sorted my goals from the most important to less important and I also divided it into three categories which is work, personal and home. As for the work, I want to concentrate on my YouTube, my shop and drawing. So I can untoggle this list and I can show you what I've written here. The first and the main goal is I want to make a video every two weeks, at least for half a year. Then I want to develop my filming skills. I want to launch my website with free and paid products, which are art prints. This is my drawings and also photos that I've taken in lots of places that I've been to. Uh, tutorials and Notion templates and PDF guides. Also, I want to make a big course, um, but in small chapters on digital drawing. I not only want to make, but I also have some kind of PDF guides on drawing. And uh, I want to make PDF guides for art YouTubers and for all creative YouTubers. Now I'm learning about this and I'm facing some kind of problems. And when I have zeal the problem, I want to share it too. Next, I'm going to my personal goals. <laughs> and these goals are are mostly about learning two languages. First goal is I want to learn Serbian language because I'm living in Serbia, Belgrade now and I want to make my language up to B1 level until June 2023. Then I want to come back to my English and I want to achieve those C1 level and I'm going to make it from the June to December of this year. And I write here that I want to get an English level certificate in January, February or March in the next year, since I don't want to forget about this, so I just put it here. Then I want to take my vitamins, make some kind of exercises and, you know, maybe I'll make my first tattoo and get more two piercings just for having fun. But it's not so important, that's why it's written on the bottom of this list. Next is going home and family. And you can see that I'm having here only two lines and they're all about like having more healthy meals, some kind of preparation and making a cooking system because I want to free up more of my time to dedicate more of my time to work and personal stuff instead of home and family. And I also want to bake my own pies and cookies instead of buying it in store. So these are my goals to the year and then I want to divide it into smaller chunks and I created another page here which dedicated to January, February and March. And here again I have repeated what's the most important for me in this year. I have sorted from the most important to less important. There are the same three categories of work, personal and home and family stuff, but I'm going to untoggle this list and show you. Here in the work category, I was more particular on things that I'm going to do, on those time bounds again and on things that will help me to keep track of my progress. If uh, speaking about creating videos every two weeks, I want to make two videos in January and then I want to start working on my site. So I've done this. Next I'm going to make two videos in February and two videos in March. What's about my website? I'm going to start building it after my fifth total video on YouTube and it's going to be at the end of January and it's actually this time, so I should start doing it. 
then I'm going to build needed pages in February and continue filling it uh, with everything I already have in February also. And what about my filming skills? I want to develop a workflow of setting up and filming on camera above the table, since it's really important when I want to show something when I'm drawing on my iPad and I was trying to make this and I didn't succeed, so I'm going to work on it. Also, I decided to look and screenshot how other art YouTubers are doing this and I already done it so here it is done and I'm going to watch tutorials on filming so I can develop my filming skills. Next I'm going to show you my personal. Here I have described in more details what I'm going to make for learning Serbian language up to the B1 level until June 2023 and I needed to buy those of course, pay the rest of the price until 23rd of January. Then I'm going to start course, it's going to be in February, I'm going to end February month successfully, I'm going to end March month successfully and so on. You know, you can see here are my vitamins and maybe 15 minutes of exercises. If I'm going to do it because it wasn't my really important task <laughs> and if I want wish to make it I I'm not going to make it and I won't be disappointed about this because that's not my main task and I want to repeat that it's very important to set those you know specific goals that you can do set at least a raw time bound time frame and to write those criteria uh, to keep track of your progress and the last thing here in my notion you can see here i was having i want in 2023 then it's going january and march and then it's going a week that's how I'm dividing my big goals into smaller ones and then again into smaller ones so I can see which steps I can make every day to achieve them. And here is my week and I'm going to quickly show you what I'm having here. I'm having a Google Calendar here so it's more convenient for me to see what date is it, what week is it. I'm writing my plans for every day and the first task here is the most important so I know that I will put maximum effort into those specific tasks which was filming a video for Monday which is today and I'm filming this video. I was needed to check script, I also done it. I feel that this planning system was really helpful for me and this is my first attempt of planning in such kind of way. But I hope that you will try it too if you are having such kind of issues with planning. I have lived with this system and with my goals and plans for about a month and I feel good and I want to keep going on and that's really awesome and I want to keep going. So feel free to change whatever you want to change that will fit yourself but try to keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!